the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends So uh, firstly my apologies uh, Initially I've actually uploaded three videos in Python I got two complaints which I'll be telling you as well uh, in the in the lecture One is it is quite long the other thing is why there is not continuation so both the things I take responsibility so what I've actually decided is to break into pieces and you know upload at least lectures three times a week so one day you can study the next day you can practice and the other day you can actually come and learn at something new so today we are restarting Python and this is for non-technical people so any person can actually learn uh, and like always I'll be looking forward to your feedback in today's lecture we'll be seeing about the general syntax how a number is how to get the data type and stuff of that nature so let's actually take a deep dive uh, <clears throat> firstly my apologies I have not been uploading Python quite frequently uh, so a couple of reasons I uploaded three videos so some of the videos were quite lengthy and I had some feedback that people are not able to follow everything so what I've actually decided is I'm going to be like you know uploading regular videos in each and every topic you know I'll at least try to do it at least three times a week so that you can learn one day you can practice the other day and then you'll be fresh and uh, I'll, I'll try to be disciplined uh, and you know eventually we can actually catch up everything so uh, you know I'll be using Anaconda you know you can actually download Anaconda the free version and Jupyter notebooks to practice Python so we all today know what a Python is and how important it is in terms of everything so with Python you know be it data analysis any kind of analysis you know machine learning you know everything is there so this is a very important language so we will take baby steps to kindly be with me and we can go from there all right uh, so the first is the syntax I've actually kept my this thing um, uh, in my PowerPoint and side by side I'll be working on with this so this is the you know a Jupyter notebook so I can actually copy paste okay this is an error so what I will do is I'll say print and, uh, and you can see how it is actually acting and I can say hello world so I'm just saying hello to the world I'm going to put an exclamation mark now if I actually run this it's going to say hello world so basically print is we say like you know printing the paper printing something so we say that and it's just like small you know just English language all right so likewise let's take another command here I'll just copy this let's take a command and we will let me see whether it's actually working here yeah so by you know what I'm actually trying to say is if my 5 is greater than 3 I need to indent okay I'm going to say print 5 is greater than 3 okay so this is also like simple this thing right so let's actually see or what I can do is I can copy this I can say this and I can put a lesser than sign and I can see what is actually happening so it is not printing because 5 is not lesser than 3 but I can say lesser and I can still run this so let's take another one So 5 is not lesser than 3 as well okay so what I have to do is if 3 is lesser than 5 I can say 3 is lesser than 5 so this actually helps you to tell how powerful mathematical you know for mathematical uses like Python can be used so let's take another example so this is a comment a comment is just like a, a mere comment okay and it is actually marked with a hashtag so if you actually see it is just like telling um, the previous thing actually came I'm going to say print just as it is just like you know playing this thing and I'm going to run this see this is what I get now what happens is Python has variable 
and the variables are case sensitive. What do I mean is, when you say x equals 5, okay, this is a small x. When you say y equals pras and y equals, this capital Y equals pras, this will not overwrite. Now, let's actually take this as an example. Uh, I, I can take all three, okay. I can take all three and let me do this here. <clears throat> I have this and what I'm going to be doing is, so small y, capital Y and X. So what I will be doing is, I'll be taking this and I'm going to be saying, give me, give me the type of X and give me the type of Y. Let's see what happens. So the type of X is an integer and the type of Y is a string. So integer is a number and the string is a string. All right. So what you have to do is if you want to find something, you have to say print the type of that particular thing. Okay. So, you know, so this is the syntax. Okay. So this is the syntax and this is how it would actually come. And that is what is going to give you. Okay, so it has actually taken the previous one. So just letting you know how the syntax works. So we actually talked about this, okay, about the case sensitive. So let's not go here. Now, what is a casting? In Python, as I said, let's actually take this. Okay, let's actually take this part. I'm going to copy this. And uh, let's actually show you something. Y equals int of three. Int of three. Z equals lot of three. So if you see how this thing is actually coming, I'm going to say print type, give me X, print type, give me Y, print type, give me Z. All right. So is this what I've said here? Yes. So let's actually go here and let's actually run this. I'll tell you why this error actually happened. So this is, keep this error. Okay, so don't be caught here. Okay, st a string is a name. So I've actually said this is string as a number. So this is not going to work because a string is basically a name. So I can't give a number. Let's actually try some other thing. Now let me actually take this and Let me actually take this and let me actually take this. So what they do here is I've given a number to this x. So if you want to actually say, suppose if you say, this guy is boring like Bumbra, or this guy is like MS Dhoni, or like, you know, something of that nature, you actually take the right hand side person, you put it on the left hand side. So that is what we actually do it in the variable. Okay, now I given this as a number, this is this as a name. So this is an integer and this will be a string. Okay, just see this. Okay, so what I will do is there is some kind of a, this thing and I will say, let's say this. See here, it's an integer. 
So sometimes it is actually, it will take something. So here I will say y equals jog. And I will say print me type of y. See, it's a string. Very simple, right? So let's keep moving. This is the same, like we already talked about it, not going to overwrite, so this is the same. Now what we can also do here is, we can actually assign multiple values, okay? Or in other words, I can say x equals y equals z equals, I can say apples, okay? And I can say print x. Remember, I'm not telling the type. Okay, type gives you what type it is. I can say print y and I can say print z. Okay, so this is like we have actually identified three persons to be the next Boomerang. Okay, so this is how I'm actually doing. So let's actually run this and see. See, apples, apples, apples. What I can also do is I can actually say x equals y equals z equals I can say Boomra comma MS Dhoni comma Virat Kohli. Now we have actually said say Prasanna Jayashri Rama let's say Mandana now what I can say is print Prasanna print Jayashri print Rama now let's run this, see here, see how it is actually given, it is actually taken this, okay, it is actually giving me three times, correct, so let's actually see this, okay, just for kicks, what I will do is, I'll copy this, I will do this, it does not matter So Prasanna has become Bhumra, Jayashri as Mandana, Rama as Virat Kali. Okay. So this is a way you can actually give multiple this thing. Alright. Now let's slightly tweak it because I've said equals, equals, equals. Okay. So let's slightly tweak it. Let's copy. Let's paste. Comma comma see here now prasanna is proper bumra jayashri is proper mandana and rama is proper virat kohli what did we do here purposely i put an equal to so that it gave everything the same whereas when i said comma this bucket has gone to this this bucket has gone to this this bucket has gone to this so that is the way we have to program all right the rest all is the same okay uh, this is like unpacking a list okay we have something called as a list uh, we have something called as um, we talked about variable so let's actually come to this okay let's actually come to this because there's a difference between a square brackets and there's a difference between uh, a curly bracket so let's actually come to this let's not be bothered by this right now so this is the output variable now let's actually take this okay 
what I'm going to say is I'm going to say x equals 5 y equals 10 I'm going to say print x plus y mathematics right I'm going to run this very nice now x equals 5 y equals prasanna and I'm going to say z equals print x plus y it is not going to do anything because it's a syntax error okay because it's an integer and this is a string and it can't do anything okay now the same thing if I just take the same thing copy and then I actually put it here and here I say 12 now let's see see here I didn't remove this thing okay see how sensitive it is see now we got the answer so this is the way we have to actually go <clears throat> now there is something called as a global variable and uh, you know there is something called as a variable we can just talk at a high level but I think right now it might be slightly slightly you know early but let's actually come to this global. Namaste friends I trust you have actually liked the lecture if you have any questions you know whom to contact like always I would like to thank two persons one is you for giving me a valuable time. The other is my wife Jayashree for allowing me to follow my passion. Uh, as I said, I will be disciplined in my approach as well and I will start uploading quite frequently. Till we see next time, take care. Cheers.